As we begin a new calendar year, Pope Benedict invites us to join him in praying for ourselves and our faith, that in the year of faith, which began last October, we may deepen our knowledge of the mystery of Christ and witness joyfully to the gift of faith in him. In his apostolic letter announcing the year of faith, Pope Benedict expressed his desire that all of us would know our faith better, to know what the church teaches better, so that we will be able, in his words, to rediscover the joy of believing and the enthusiasm for communicating the faith. How can we do this? The Pope offered several very practical suggestions, one of which is to prayerfully read the documents of the Second Vatican Council, which, as he put it, quoting Blessed John Paul II, have lost nothing of their value or brilliance. They need to be read correctly, to be widely known, and taken to heart as important and normative texts of the magisterium. Another suggestion he made involves reading the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which Pope Benedict described as a precious and indispensable tool. Regarding the Catechism, he also said, on page after page, we find that what is presented here is no theory, but an encounter with a person who lives within the church. That, ultimately, is the goal of the Eura faith, to not simply know something about what the church teaches, but to know a person, Jesus Christ. Just as our knowledge of another person can always go deeper, so too with Jesus. We can always come to know him better and to grow in a knowledge of his love. Thus, another way in which we can take this month's prayer intention and act upon it is to spend time with Jesus in the Word and the sacraments. Jesus is present in the Word, the Bible, especially the Gospels, so much so that St. Jerome once said, ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Reflecting on the daily readings that are used at Mass can be a simple way of helping our relationship with Jesus grow. Also, this Word, Jesus Christ, God's perfect communication to the world, became flesh. He continues to become flesh on the altar at Mass, and He enters into communion with us so that we become one flesh when we receive Him in the Eucharist. Participating in the celebration of Holy Mass on Sundays and as often as we can during the week is an important way that we can deepen our knowledge of Christ. But, as St. James said, Faith, without works, is dead. Pope Benedict echoed this in his apostolic letter saying, Faith without charity bears no fruit, while charity without faith would be a sentiment constantly at the mercy of doubt. Faith and charity each require the other. This is where the second part of our monthly intention comes into play, that we may be witnesses to the gift of faith in him. We do that most especially through the witness of our faith-filled lives, lives that show we depend not on ourselves, but upon one who is all-powerful. As the psychologist and popular author M. Scott Peck put it at the beginning of his bestseller, The Road Less Traveled, life is difficult. At one time or another, we all face difficulties and challenges that disturb our peace and threaten our hope, our faith, helps us to navigate those challenges. Our faith-filled lives of calm and strength and charity toward all will be what attracts others to Christ, who, as the letter to the Hebrews says, is the leader and perfecter of faith. <laughs>